What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodyB.com and in this video, we're going to look at multiple selections for our data frames with pandas. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at multiple selections, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyB.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. All right, so in the last video, we looked at creating selections based on one condition, right? One thing, looking up one thing out of a data frame. In this video, we want to look at multiple conditions. So if you want to look at, you know, uh, dogs of a certain color and a certain breed, how do you do both of those things? That's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our Jupyter Notebook here. I'm just calling this multiple conditional. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Panda series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got our basic starter code that we've always got here. We're importing pandas and NumPy, and we're pulling in our dog data CSV file that we've been working with. And you can see here it is, all the data. So let's say we want to grab multiple things. We want to look up two things. Let's say we want to look up all the dogs that are brown and all the breeds that are also mixed. So we want mixed brown dogs. How do we do that? Well, let's come down here and we learned in the last video, we can go my underscore DF and then just pass in our my underscore DF again. And let's say we want uh, the color to equal brown. So we could do that and we get a list of all of these things. Looks like 309 of them, right? So, okay, that's great. But we also want breeds that are mixed, right? So how do we get both of those? So how do we do this? Well, easy, we just wrap our condition here, right here in parentheses. So we have parentheses there. And now we want another one. So we want this condition and this condition. Now, in Python, you use and for multiple conditions. In pandas, you use the ampersand, which is the same thing. A lot of programming languages use the ampersand instead of and. So now we just say our other condition. So we want my underscore df. And here we wanted what breed. And then we wanted that to set equal to mixed. And boom, you see we have the breed of mixed color of brown. And then here's all the information that we would want. And if we come down here, uh, there's a bunch of them, and it doesn't say how many. So if we wanted to find how many a quick and easy way would be to just wrap all of this in a len function. We'd we talked about that way back at the beginning of this course. Boom, we can see there are 38 records. So cool. So that's and and a lot of times when you're doing multiple conditions, you're going to want and you're, you're going to want this condition and this condition and this condition and this condition, you can also use or right or is another logic operator in Python. So let's come down here and do or So let's pop the same thing in. But instead of the ampersand, we want or same deal, Python uses or but pandas uses the or symbol, which is the bar. And that's just the straight up bar. It's usually on the uh, backslash key on your keyboard. If you can't find it, it's kind of weird. A lot of people don't use that very often, but you could go ahead and do that. Now we're going to get either colors of brown or breeds of mixed. So you can expect we're going to have a lot more records. And if we sort of look through here, uh, we can see, yes, sure enough, there's 506. We can do the same thing here. We can grab the length of this if we want, but it already told us 506. But, you know, just for fun, let's just make sure. Yep, 506. So very cool. So you could do either and or or. Very useful. Now, what if you wanted something very specific from this data frame, right? So let's say we come up here. We want all the colors of brown and the breeds of mixed. Now, let's see. Well, just return us the dog names. How do we do that? Well, we can copy this whole thing. And just like in the last video, when we wanted a specific column, we could just at the end pop in that column and pass in dog name. And boom, we just get a list of those dog names. So Stella, Hank, Teddy, we can confirm that by coming up here, Stella, Hank, and Teddy. Sure enough, it's the same ones. It's just leaving out the breed, the color, and the owner zip. You know, if you just want to return a very specific, you know, set, and then you wanted to do something with that, maybe you wanted to graph them, maybe what, whatever, uh, you could do that. Maybe you wanted to run some additional data stuff on those. Quick and easy way to do that. So those are multiple conditionals, very easy to do. And that's kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeb.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. 
Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.